High speed rail through central Illinois and Springfield has continued to reach milestones in recent years. New bridges and underpasses, plus the eventual relocation of Amtrak rails to another rail line through the capital city. WAD's Doug Wolf reports now. Congressman Rodney Davis says the city will see the economic benefits to improving rail service. Decades of work have led to millions of dollars poured into the rail lines feeding into downtown Springfield. Work that has improved vehicle traffic in the city with rail crossings being replaced with bridges and underpasses. That the city of Springfield sees the long-term light at the end of the tunnel, pardon the pun there for the, the rail traffic, but in the end, that is going to make Springfield and the downtown area much more viable as they envisioned 40 plus years ago. Congressman Rodney Davis tells me improving rail service in Springfield has been a priority of his over the past decade, along with the new hub that will become a station for Amtrak and also serve as a bus station. As work nears completion over the next several years, Davis says Amtrak will have to improve speeds along its route. But Amtrak also has to work on figuring out how to up the speeds. Um, we need to make sure that we make it an incentive to take that train, not just from Springfield to Chicago and back, but also from Springfield to St. Louis. The Congressman tells me he would like to eventually see Amtrak service from Springfield to St. Louis for sporting events. I don't see any reason why that if you have Cardinal games that you couldn't see people take Amtrak down to the Cardinal game. Relocating the Amtrak line from 3rd Street to 10th Street in Springfield has a price tag of more than $300 million. Indicator Doug Wolf, WAND News. Now the cost of providing high-speed rail from Chicago to St. Louis will have a total price tag of about $1.6 billion.